Hello, boys and girls, to another episode of Joysticking with George. Today we are playing Forza Horizon 2 on the Xbox One, and th these people came to see a show. They came to see a guy in a fast car do fast car things. So let's do a donut. Ooh, uh, yeah, buddy. And that is right. That is a Flareon on the hood of my car. Uh, one of my favorite features in Forza Horizon 2 is a very active and creative community making really cool car decals on top of really cool looking cars. So, the uh, best way to describe this game is a very toned down burnout paradise. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's an open world racer uh, taking place all over, all over Europe. Uh, the last Forza Horizon game took over uh, was in Colorado, I believe, during a music festival. Uh, so that music festival is back, but now we're in lovely wherever this is. I think we're in Nice. But uh, yeah, so you're, you'll be doing races in the middle of these kind of like curvy streets and just a very different landscape than what you're used to. So I uh, figure let's go into a race here. Uh, let's go into our trusty world map. And let's see what we got here. Uh, promenade street race. Uh, let's do that. Or we can do a sprint. Uh, you know what? Let's do a sprint. I actually prefer those. What do we got here? Another bucket list. Uh, Alright, let's go do a sprint. Uh, so the idea in this game is you have to, in order to quote unquote win, you have to win uh, 15 championships. When a championship will consist of a handful of races or sometimes even one race. And you have to win 15 of them to get the, hey, you beat the game. But in reality, there's over 250 championships you can do because you can compete in different car classes. So if you kind of get annoyed with supercars and would rather drive, say, a Dodge Dart or something and go in like a competitive sedan class, you can do that and still feel like you're contributing to your overall kind of, you know, progress in the game. And also, Drivatars are back. So if you'll notice, uh, some of the cars will have names over their head. Those are people on my friends list or people who I've played against. Those are kind of their ghosts driving around. And if you remember from Forza Motorsports 5 that came out on launch for the Xbox One, it uh, basically, it, it, it's a driving profile. So it takes into account the way you drive and it pits your ghost against other people and, uh, you know, they went smart. So all the racers in all the championships I do are all people on my friends list. And, you know, the more you race, the better your uh, driver tar will be because, you know, assuming in... Like, real life, the more you do something, the better you are at it. But, um, we'll see. Because one of my main issues with the driver tar back in, like, you know, Forza Motorsports 5 was that, you know, a lot of people's driver tars were just kind of train wrecks and just spent most of the race just trying to collide in, collide into you as opposed to actually trying to win the race. So it looked like this one, they've tuned it up a bit where it's not that. Like, yeah, you'll have some people who are a little bit more aggressive than others and people who are a little more conservative and drive a bit more wild, but it stopped being the car that stops in the middle of the road and just causes a pileup everywhere. That's a cool looking car. Oh yeah. This is, it's already a gorgeous looking game. I've always loved how sport, uh, sports games have, how racing games have always been the kind of the game that they used to show off uh, a system's graphics, uh, you know, go back into like PGR and Xbox One, the original Forza, uh, you know, the mo more, more famously, you know, Gran Turismo. Like when Gran, you know, when Gran Turismo first came out and you saw a BMW Z4, you're like, whoa, that, that's pretty. Look how round those wheels are. And I remember that being a thing for a while. I was like, yeah, our racing game is the best because our wheels are more round. All right, let's try to get some ground here. So like I said, all these guys are actually on my friends list, and warning you ahead of time, I drive like a jerk. I have no problem running people off the road to get in first place. Uh, the only problem is you actually get more points by driving clean, passing people cleanly, and just being an overall better racer. So yeah, let's say I come in third, but I didn't crash once. I did some great, you know, drafting, drifting. Well, that, I'll actually end up getting more points doing it that way than, let's say, winning the race. But I'm facing the reality that I'm just a very poor driver, so I just need to get in first place somehow to rack up those points. So, oh. Let's go through. Alright, we're going the same way. Oh, ah. So I'm a huge fan of the driving lines. I know some people, you know, racing purists and be like, well, oh, the driving line's bullshit, learn how to drive on your own. 
I I rather not. To me, the driving line is a good it's a good driving assist just because, like I said, there's so many different cars or so many different car classes. It's kind of tough to know when is the right time to apply the brakes or not apply the brakes. But as you can see there, as it turned red, it just means you should probably reduce speed or you're gonna end up crashing into a wall. But thankfully, my car does zero to sixty in like two seconds, so I can recover fairly quickly. But like I said, if, you know, if we do it an off-road course and you go off the rails and just kind of flip yourself over, yeah, you're kind of screwed. But if that's the case, you can always just apply the rewind, and I'll show you what that's like as soon as I crash and I need one. But I'm actually doing I'm not doing bad. I've been playing for a couple hours here, getting a handle on these turns at high speed just so I can do more things like that. And the drifting works really well. Uh, this is essentially car porn, because I mean, cars themselves just look amazing. And the landscape I really like. Alright, so you know what? Let's show the rewind. So at any given time, you can just rewind. You can go even further back. Just kind of course correct. Sometimes you just take... You just, you can get too aggressive or, you know, you're just trying to be a dick and just running another car off the road and you end up, you know, in the patio furniture. So being able to rewind is just... I like it. Just because I'm one of those people that, you know, if I screw up in the race, I'll restart from the beginning. And after a while, that gets a little tedious and a little boring, and to me, that stops being fun. So at least this way, I think it's a good, uh... Oh, boy. Stopgap for that. Oh, I'm gonna lose! Oh, no, 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 you don't. Crap. Alright, so let's rewind. So, yeah, I do feel a little bit cheap doing that, but... You know what? I'll live. I have to go a little further back. There we go. So let's avoid that tree entirely. Okay, so what will happen is since I use the rewind like a dozen times, uh, when I win this race, I won't get as much credits as I would if I did it cleanly. Like I said, you get awarded for driving well. So if you're someone like me and just take all the shortcuts in, you're not going to get as many points as someone who really put the effort into winning this race. And whoa! Like that. You looked in control for that whole race there. I really was not. Oh yeah, I made good time. You know, I'm only ranked 4, but yeah, I've got people there. You know, my buddy Alex is level 53. I've got, uh, my buddy Paul's 15. So, like, you know, the more you do, you know, the more you race, just the better you get. And you also get these driving perks, which I think is really interesting, which will do, uh, EXP multipliers. So, you know, the more you, you get 10 extra, 10% 10 extra more EXP when you drift, that kind of thing. So, you see, so, for difficulty and assist, since I use a ton of assist and rewind, I didn't get many credits, but I got plenty of credits for winning. So there you go. So it's for all the XP, all the... See, that's my overall level. I level up, so I get a wheel spin. This is kind of like a... prize board. Uh, do I want to face against my rival? You know, we'll pass on that for now, just so I can show you guys something else. The music's really good. A lot of... It's very... It's a lot of cruising music, which I kind of appreciate. All right, let's spin the prize wheel. So every time you level up, you get a free wheel spin. Uh, sometimes you get a car, sometimes you get credits. I kind of would like a car instead, but all right, I'll take it. All right, so let's uh, find something to do here. Uh, Promenade Street Race, just did that. Let's, uh... So this is the world map here. I can fast travel to any of these uh, locations here. So that's the Horizon Festival where you kind of go in the beginning. Kind of a small town here. Uh, this I raced against some goddamn chats, which was kind of cool. So uh, let's find another race. Uh, what shall we do? Let's do a... Let's do Promenade, let's do promenade Street Race. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Nope, sorry. Uh, 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 uh. All right. You have arrived at your destination. Oh yeah, the Flareon. So let's do one race, and then I'll show you guys the uh, kind of the car garage and show you what it's like to get, you know, for the upgrades, and we'll shop through, and maybe buy a car and some really cool decals. So. Like that, you know, like any other career mode of champions, it works on a point system. First place will get you 20 points. 
So at the end of the f so at the end of the four races, you want to make sure you have the most points, and then you know make the podium being one, two, or three. Go there and see what happens. Man, that was not a good start. Oh no! Okay, let's let's. Okay, so I can't rewind that much, so. That is not a good start. Oh, buddy. Okay. All right, let's try that. All right, let's get our bearings straight. And that was embarrassing. All right, let's go. Uh, race is only 6% done, so I still have a chance. Uh, so I'm going to have to drive a little bit more aggressive. So when I should be braking, that's going to be probably my best time to make up a lot of ground. And that's from... I should probably gun it, but god damn it. And it's the problem when you're racing against supercars. They all accelerate really fast, so... The only time I can actually do anything is when they, these turns just be a little bit aggressive. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's tough to notice because I'm going so fast. Is that these are some really great-looking environments, and... All those benches and patios and tables are you can kind of crash right into them if you want. You get some extra points just for, like, being a jerk. But, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, look out, get pooped on. Right, I need to pass this guy. Look out. Ugh, crap. Sorry. Yeah, I like the crowds this year. Crowds are, like, actual people instead of, like, these really weird 2D cutouts. I just kind of get animated frame by frame. That just kind of wave back and forth. Look out! Don't hit the traffic. Uh, oh, look out, dragon! All right, here we go. Okay, I recovered pretty well. Like I said, it's just because there's a lot of windy bits here, so I'm taking that opportunity and like taking advantage of the AI because I know that they're gonna slow down every time. So I'm just gonna gun it and then use the cars and then sideswipe the cars and use that as kind of like a buffer so I don't crash into the wall. But, yeah, you see, they're all driving straight lines, so I can probably... There we go. Come on. So, this guy, Vangelion, is a friend of mine, and now he plays this game all the time. So, his driver tar is going to be a little bit more aggressive than mine. So, just going to... Go to hell. Right, let's see if I can... Oh, uh, that's Alex and Chris up front, so... Oh, no, I'm going to come in fourth! Oh, bummer! Crap. So yeah, I think, yeah, crap. So I think starting, starting the way I did, going and rewind is not going to help me at all. Oh man, I really banged up that car. Uh, thankfully, you don't lose points for damaging your car. I mean, I don't have to go back and repair it, because that would be a goddamn nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do I want to race my rival? No, thanks. Those one-on-one -on -one races are a little bit too much pressure for me, and I don't need that. I just wanna, I just wanna sit back and listen to Horizon Base Arena and just, you know, soak in the scenery. And uh, speaking of which, let's uh, let's take a quick detour. I'm just kind of look at these jerks dancing. Look at that. It's not bad, just guys hanging out. Just, just people having a good time. Good for them. They have no idea how close to death they came a while ago. Oh no! Just property damage left and right. Alright, so what do we got? That's uh Might as well just finish out that championship. In one hundred yards, turn left. Texas. Yeah. So one cool thing I like about the uh, driver tar system is, as I'm racing, my driver tar is in theory getting better, but not the way I'm the way I'm racing. I'm surprised my driver tar can finish races. But uh, every day that you're not playing, your driver tar is actually out there, you know, competing and racing on your behalf. So then every day, so what happens is every day. So if you go here under uh, da -da -da -da, home. Messages. I get my driver tar reward. So this is telling me every day my driver tar is out there, and if he does well, like you know, 
the other day he did really well and got me 17,000 credits. And like I said, this all happens when you're away, which is amazing. And I think a really good way of just kind of keeping you involved, meaning like, you know, if I step away from this game for a month, my drive guitar is still in theory out there racing for a month. So when I come back, I've got credits to still be useful in the game. And if not, you can always just pay for stuff, but uh, for a game like this, I tend to avoid the... I think I'm morally against the free-to-play model in games I paid full retail prices for, which I think was Forza Horizon... Uh, Forza Motorsports 5's biggest problem was it was built too much like a free-to-play racer when clearly it's a $60 game, and I don't want to buy boosts or other really cool cars after... No, just, you know... The standard package should be enough for a $60 game. Now, if Forza Motorsports 5 was free and had that same model, I wouldn't have any complaints, but that wasn't the case. Alright, so... So, looking at this one, I just have to place. Ooh, in the rain. So, we get to see the nice weather effects here. Uh, that's my favorite part about the championships, is uh, every race just kind of changes the conditions on you here. And I have a feeling I'm going to spin out really badly, but... Yeah, there's some sick churches song too. Go 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 go! Oh no! Okay, good. I didn't crash through any barriers. No, I'm fine. Oh really? I missed the checkpoint. Where was the checkpoint? Okay, so in order to keep me from driving like an absolute jerk, I gotta drive in between the little flares there to stay on path. Okay. All right, so I think I'm good. All right. Awesome pass. Alright, so I got a hard right coming in. Maybe if I can... Uh... There we go! Nice! Ha <laughs> ha! All planned. Alright, Edward Appleby, I'm gonna take you out right now. Well, my buddy Alex, is re he's, he's been reviewing the game. He's put a lot of hours into it, so his driver tar is insanely good. So he's always at the... So he's at the head of the pack when, uh... I'm dealing with driver ties. Oh, 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 the fact that I haven't spun out is amazing. Yes. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, no. Kind of losing. So, yeah, as you can see, the weather effects not only look good, they also actually affect the way you drive. And hitting those turns at, like, 200 miles an hour in the rain, yeah, it's not pretty. Oh, 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 oh buddy. Okay. I need to get my shit together before I get to a straightaway, because a lot of these people are in, like, way better cars than I am, so. Alright, let's go. Woo! Press. Oh, that, that could have been bad. Oh! Uh, no worries. It, it's okay, don't worry. Nobody was hurt. <laughs> I love the, uh, the excuse of, uh, Oh yeah, people know there's a car festival going on, so there are no pedestrians out in the street, and... Yeah, the streets have been closed down. Alright, hold on, let's... Let's try that again. There we go. Alright, you know what, I'll, I will destroy a telephone booth instead of hitting the corner of a building. I'll make that concession. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it, looks, it looks like I got some great, made some good ground here. Oh my god. Alright, so... Looks like I built so much of a lead where I can just kind of crash a billion times. Oh, wow. Oh, man, I might lose this race. Crap, 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 crap. All right. Yeah, giving myself a round of applause because I think I won that championship. Yes, right on. All right, you're off the mark with your first championship win. Yeah, buddy. Uh, 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 number one. So like I said, so in order to get to the end of the game, I need to win 14 more championships. So I can, what I can do now is change car classes and do a different set of championships or stick with the modern supercar. Um, or, you know, can go and do like the big SUV. So I, I unlocked an Escalade, so I can do a bunch of like weird SUV uh, championships, which should be interesting. Uh, which will mean I'll get a lot more uh, off-road stuff. And uh, now, you know what, I don't feel like racing my rival. Uh, let me rate the design. I'm rating my uh, Flareon design because I have a. I also have a BMW uh, Z4, 
that has a Vaporeon design that looks really cool. And that was that one of my favorite parts say, about the Horizon games. Asked me to pass on a message. Could you meet her here when you get the chance? Oh, a car meet. All right, let's go. That's less fast traveler. So yeah, Ashley is my mechanic, I think. Okay, you, when you start the game, it's just kind of like, hey, you know, we need drivers. Come hang out at this music festival. So that British guy is kind of the like promoter, and he's the one arranging everything. And oh, I won a prize. Oh, let's go for a car. Let's see a nice, nice red car. Give me that. Ah, uh, uh, ooh, okay. That's a lot of money. All right, so what happens here at a car meet? Free roam breakdown. Okay, let's see what's going on. So what I like about this game is that there's just plenty to do. Which is, I think, if you're going to do an open world racer, you need to have a wealth of content and a wealth of just various different things to do. So, you know, I did that kind of race. You can do, you know, the sprints was maybe point A to point B. You can do a more traditional kind of circuit race where it's just, you know, four or five laps. Like, those are good. Also, you just have uh, what they call our... Uh, Road trips, where it's just, hey, a bunch of supercars are just going to go on a road, just score as much points as possible. You don't have to be in first. I know. Okay. Notice she stopped at mine, because the Flareon design is fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to hang out. I feel like this is like the Starbucks by my town, is all the... There's a, there's a Starbucks in a very kind of wealthy neighborhood, and people just kind of hang out. And so, who are these people? Uh, okay, so it looks like these are just other dudes here. Uh, all right, let's. My car's so awesome. All right, so let's talk to Van 182. Let's see what his deal is. Ah, okay. Okay, so it looks like you can kind of get stats on people's cars. Uh, you can pick up the design of their car, looking here, or, you know, you can actually buy their car. So this kind of bypasses that, going into the garage, hoping to unlock it. So you could probably get lucky by going to a meet, and then uh, maybe you can pick up some good stuff. Sorry, I just wanted to change my music there. Okay, so it looks like there are other kind of douchebags just on here, and if you're on your mic, you can kind of get on there, and that's pretty cool. So, should I go online? Let's... Okay, so there's a player list. So yeah, it looks like this is like the equivalent of an online uh, lobby, so maybe we can... Uh... Let's check out the online free roam and see what the hell that's about. See if I can, we can get a race down before we go. Yeah, let's do some racing, man. Yeah. I still think my car has the best design. Oh, that's some freaky ghost car. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna join the showdown. What's up with that? Alright, so it looks like we're getting loaded into a race right now. And kind of curious. I haven't actually done any online matches against uh, anyone, so... Be kind of curious to see how people drive when you don't have the crutch of the, uh... Of the rewind. Not really my kind of music, but you know what? You know, as you're just kind of like racing around and stuff, you can get into this. You know, get some ecstasy out, and you're good. All right. Showdown races give lower classes a head start, so I guess I'm at a lower class, so I get to have a head start. All right, cool. So see, I'm gonna get hammered on this. So, oh man, I'm not gonna win this race. Uh, I do wonder how much of a head start I get. So I gotta make sure I hit these turns and Oh man. I 
Okay, so that's a pretty interesting approach to doing these races, which are cars of different classes. Because, you know, if I had a Honda Civic, I'd probably have, like, a 20-minute head start on these. All right, and they're on their way, and, man, they are making up ground really fast. Holy crap. Go, 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 go. Actually, I can't tell if I'm doing well or not. Oh, nope. All right, there goes that. Crap, 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 crap. Go, 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 go. Or I'm doing fairly well. Oh, man, who is that? Oh, it's that stupid ghost car. God damn it. Oh, my. Come on, that's not even fair. Oh. I think as long as they're still crashing into each other, I might have a chance here. It's just once we get to a straightaway, I'm screwed. Come on, come on. Those aren't too bad. Oh, and now I lost them. Damn. Go, 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 go. Well, it looks like I'm still ahead of Master Roshi, who I don't even think is... I don't even think he's playing, but... As long as I'm not last, right? Ugh. Yeah, you know what? Didn't too do bad. Totally not fair. Yeah, the... Yeah, these X-Class cars are just kind of unstoppable at this point. But, eh, it wasn't too bad. Oh, Master Roshi finish! Come on, Master Roshi! There we go. Well, you know, some sad music. Didn't quite finish, but, uh... You know what? Let's call it here. That was, uh... Another episode of Joystick with George. Forza Horizon 2. It's out on 360 and Xbox One. And if you like, you know, open-world racers where you can put Pokemon on supercars, uh, this is probably the game for you. And, uh, make sure you check out, uh, Giuseppe's review at DualShockers.com. Give it an 8.5. Really dug it. And, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, keep an eye out for more uh, joysticking with Georges. As uh, uh, there's there's there are other games I'm playing that I'm that I've been putting off because let's say they're just a little bit too scary. So at some point I'm gonna man up, and uh, I'm gonna make it happen. Welcome to the Nice Car Meet. There's ah, a shut high speed theme to the showdown routes we've set up around here, taking in stretches of the freeway. So bear that in mind when challenging someone.